Hey y'all, Data Guy here. And today I have a really cool video for you where I want to explore a super new uh, SDK that was just developed um, for Airflow, which is the Airflow AI SDK. Um, and essentially what this tool does, um, it's based on Pydantic, um, and it allows you to have a task within your pipeline that essentially acts as an AI agent. Um, so you provide the context, you provide you know, what you want it to do through a prompt, <clears throat> and then it uses the Pydantic agent under the hood to go perform that task. Um, so effectively allows you to you know, now have things where say not just a prompt, but actually an agent taking an action, um, you know, doing things something like a simple resolution flow, submitting a ticket, um, but as part of a data pipeline. So no longer do you need to call out and have a user do this action. You have this happen from an agent. So you're removing some of those first line uh, responsibilities from your support staff. No longer do they need to do routing on their ticket by reading through there and figuring out where it should go. Instead, you have an AI agent that reads what the output was you know, of some task or you know, reads in some piece of data, uh, you know, in this case, something like a ticket, and then feeding that information into the Astro AI SDK. It's then going to use that agent to parse that ticket, understand what's happening in that ticket, what needs to be done to resolve it, uh, and then assigning it to one of three further agents that then also take that, uh, you know, basically routed ticket and, you know, what the router has determined it as being a, you know, the, the required resolution path, whether it's a resolution, whether it's submitting a, a uh, support request, uh, or just providing some advice on how to resolve, um, that is then going to be sent back to the end user or, you know, routed downstream. So really replacing your CS team with a full team of AI agents, all using the AI SDK. So without further ado, now that we have an idea of what we're gonna be building today, let's cut back over into VS Code and I will show you how to build this uh, AI, or build this DAG with the AI SDK. So the first thing we're gonna do is just create a fresh new environment um, and the AI SDK does work with Airflow 3.0. So if you're running Airflow 3.0, this will work for you, uh, but it also works on 2.10 um, or you know I think 2.9 as well. Um, but so first thing we're gonna do here is cd into our desktop into data guy repos, um, and then we are going to make directory ai agent repo. Um, then what we'll do is open this repository up on our VS Code, um, and so here we have our AI agents demo. Um, and so the first thing we're going to need to do here is build out our requirements file. So all the packages we'll be using for this uh, DAG. Uh, and here, what we're going to need to have is the request library, the Airflow AI SDK, and DuckDuckGo. Um, and because under the hood, you know, whenever it's creating this agent using Pydantic, you'll need to have an LLM that that agent is based on. If you want to use a different LLM like you know Google or um, Claude or uh, Llama, swap that out here or add it as part of this list. Um, here we're just gonna be using OpenAI and DuckDuckGo, um, but just make sure that you use whatever, or add whatever specific AI providers you're using and are gonna use it in long conjunction with the AI SDK there. Uh, then you'll also need to install the Pydantic package. Um, and then I am including the Slack package so we can send out Slack notifications to support team. Um, and also Pi GitHub and Beautiful Soup 4 for interacting with GitHub Pythonically. And Beautiful Soup 4 is just a pretty useful uh, kind of text uh, or sentiment analysis tool um, for analyzing text and understanding what's going on in it. Um, so these are all the requirements and packages you'll need. Um, and then no need to mess anything with a Docker file. Now we can start building our DAG. So here we're going to AI support team dot pi, and then we'll start importing all our packages and requirements. So what we'll do is bring in just a few different packages and requirements. Um, so here we're bringing in the decorators, uh, empty operator just for utility, Slack webhook operator, the Airflow uh, model statx.com arg, um, and date time, import time delta, and import JSON. Uh, and for, for <clears throat> dealing with JSON and request information. Now, uh, the reason why you don't see the AI SDK here is because the AI SDK is actually built into the Airflow decorator. So if you've built in or are using the Airflow AI SDK in your requirements file, then we can define AI or a LLM tasks now using the same form as we would for a Python task. So what we're gonna do here first is just set up our DAG. So just set up a basic DAG called AI incident triage. 
Um, and the first thing we're gonna do is just have a simple simulator, um, which is just going to basically simulate, hey, fetching logs from an external source. Um, because I don't have my own Datadog environment to play with, um, but you can basically just you know swap this out where with whatever endpoint you would use to pull your logs from, um, just make sure that the logs are being returned by this task because that's how we're gonna pipe them into our LLM task, which is the next one we're gonna create. Um, so for our LLM task, most of the logic, weirdly, takes place within the task definition. Um, so here what we have is uh, task LLM. So this task.llm uh, tells it to use the Astro AI SDK. So it's going to feed in the system prompt and then return whatever the output is um, from that response. Uh, we're going to use the GPT-40 mini model. So you can also choose what specific AI model you want to use, what specific LLM you'd like to use. Also, how you would like to re receive your result. So the result is the response to that prompt. Uh, in this case, I want string because that's gonna be the easiest to work with by far. Um, and then here, I won't read out the full prompt, but essentially what I'm doing here is I built a prompt that says, hey, you have three options. You're either gonna remediate, escalate, or assign this ticket. So remediation, you're, it's sim something simple. It's something that you could just say, hey, turn it off and on again, and it's gonna work. Escalate, this is something where it's going to need a human in the loop. It's going to need someone to come in, specialized from a certain team. Um, so assign it to the right specialized person and then come in and fix it. Or it's just going to assign it to a particular specific team like billing or DevOps or security um, for a process that an AI agent can't take on its own. So what we're gonna do here is uh, basically then tell our AI agent what steps we want to take in our output. So summarize the issue, understand it, assess the severity, decide the action it's gonna take, explain the reasoning behind that, and that's a key thing. So you know you don't just have random ass assignments without any actual logic. You know That's one of the biggest problems with you know, using AI agents is you need to make sure you have reasoning and, a, and also an audit trail if something goes wrong. Um, so you can see if your AI agent makes a mistake, you can see why did they make that mistake by kind of looking at their, their rationale under the hood. Um, then we also want it to return our output in JSON format. And here you can also specify what kind of JSON format you want. So here I just want issue summary, severity, recommended action, justification, assigned team, and resolution steps. Um, and then next thing we're going to do, so this is going to feed in this prompt with the information here contained within this log summary. So it's going to join um, this log entry with this prompt and then feed that into ChatGPT 4.0, use that in conjunction with Pydantic to act as an AI agent. Uh, and then that is going to actually return um, the decision matrix, right? So here, return incident then now is going to be hey, now that we've got an incident, we've gotten a type that this is, then I want to get my previous incident. Um, so this is going to be returned. The second thing I want, which is going to be recommended action, because this is the third item in the array, so 0, 1, 2, so now it's going to be incident 2. Um, and then this is basically just going to take this uh, incident and make it available as an XCOM. Um, and so then what we'll do downstream is add a branch task, which is going to actually uh, then say, hey, if this incident action is remediate, then we want to go through the auto remediation steps, uh, which is going to be you know, just remediating that task via or reading that issue with AI agent. Um, or we're going to escalate it, um, which is going to be notifying it to Slack. Um, otherwise, we're just going to return NOP, um, which is going to tell us to assign it to a, uh, a, a downstream team. Um, it's just kind of the default, hey, if it's not escalate or remediate, then we can assume that it's the third option, which is assign. So now what we'll do is create these tasks. So here, we're going to have a task for remediation. Um, so we're going to replace our prompt from task LLM to be here. Um, so essentially what this is going to do, and let's add our quotes at the end. Uh, how many quotes do I need? Three, awesome. Um, so here, basically, you're a customer support agent, whatever response we're, we're given. Um, so we're going to, uh, one second, replace this. And this is basically just going to say, hey, if this issue is minor, give them a clear response on exactly how they can fix this. Um, and here, what we're going to do is actually bring in the info from uh, classify incident. So classify or incident dot dict. 
So then this will make the initial information that from uh, our uh, here as well. Uh, this will give us our initial incident report. Um, so now it's been routed to route it to our customer support agent, which is now going to file or send out an email or generate a response that we fed in the logs to say, hey, this is how you can fix that issue. Um, then our other task will be just a simple Slack notification. Um, so if incident action goes to escalation, then what we're going to want to do um, is just push a notification to Slack. Um, and here what we'll have is just quick simulate note Slack, but let me add the actual webhook. So here we're going to use the actual official Slack notifier here. So on success callback, this is basically just an empty task that we're using to prompt the triggering of the Slack notifier. Um, and then what we'll do is add this up here. So import the Slack notifier um, and we can actually replace the Slack webhook with this. Um, so here we have the Slack notifier. So using the notifier object rather than the webhook because there's now a new notifier object you can use. Um, and then just giving you Slack connection ID, channel and message, um, and then sending that into this task to post to Slack. Um, so really simple implementation there, but yeah, just wanted to show you guys an option for posting to Slack as well. Um, then the rest of it is going to be pretty simple. Um, all you're doing then is just setting up um, some, you know, kind of just no operations uh, or fetch logs and then all the linkages between your different tasks. So here we have, you know, getting the logs, using the logs to classify the incident, deciding the action, um, then routing that task. And then one thing we'll need to add here um, is putting routed task downstream of an array of, um, here we go, of uh, post to Slack, post to Slack, auto remediate, um, which is an action one. So here, where is it? Call this auto remediate. Awesome. And now, not with an I, sorry, I can't spell today. We have our complete DAG. Um, so here we have a DAG that is going to go from start to finish um, and essentially just go through, we'll actually delete the start here as well. So just start with log. Um, so collecting logs, collecting you know tickets, determining what needs to be done with those tickets, then routing to different agents that can actually run the operations and provide advice, um, you know, provide easily fixes or just escalate that ticket for you. Um, so just want to show you this pattern, show off a new AI SDK. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see me go deeper in this type of topic, let me know and I'm happy to. Um, but above all else, I really hope you have a great rest of your day. Data guy out.